The use of software to record audio and create music has evolved over the last few decades to a point where the majority of studio work is now done in a bedroom with the aid of a computer. If you are new to the world of recording, then you may need some pointers as to which way to go. So I've put together this little video to help you understand what your options are and what software you may need to get to get you started. So buckle up because we're about to get nerdy. The term DAW has been used for a long time now as the generic term for a piece of software that is capable of recording, manipulating and playing back digitally recorded audio. Every computer music system needs a DAW at its core. <laughs> I'm a poet and didn't even know I was rhyming those words. As it's this software that combines some or all of the following functions. Audio recording, effects processing, mixing, MIDI sequencing, MIDI editing, audio click triggering, virtual instrument hosting, and let's not forget notation and scoring. Not every door has all of those capabilities and some are better than others at certain aspects, so knowing how you want to work will help when trying to decide which door to use. Here is a quick list of available doors and briefly what they are known to be good for. Avid Pro Tools, very good audio editing and recording tools, often used for professional multi-track recording sessions and mixing. Has MIDI sequencing, but it's not renowned for that aspect. Steinberg Cubase, a good door that excels at MIDI sequencing and editing, and also has very good audio tools and recording functionality. Ableton Live, a door that is capable of audio and MIDI recording, but aims more towards clip triggering music production techniques, where short loops of music are triggered with a hardware controller, which is great for building up tracks on the fly out of pre recorded music sections. Bitwick Studio, very much like Ableton in functionality. In fact, the company was started up by some ex-Ableton employees. Apple Logic, obviously Mac users only. It's the software that I use and it's great at both audio and MIDI. Presona Studio One, a well-designed audio and MIDI door with support for VST and AU plugins. We'll get to that a little bit later. Featuring a slick drag and drop interface. Cakewalk Sonar, audio and MIDI door with a unique audio time stretching and pitching option. Propellerhead's Reason, a good set of included virtual instruments and a reasonably easy to use MIDI sequencer and audio recorder. It can also be used alongside other doors using rewire technology. Avid Sibelius, professional notation software that has very good MIDI editing and scoring facilities, which can also host virtual instruments. Most doors will also have a number of versions to choose from. This allows power users to get all the features available while the cut down versions are cheaper to buy and have less features, many of which would be lost on large proportion of users anyway. The ways in which the top tier versions may differ include the following. Advanced audio and MIDI editing features, more audio and instrument tracks available, more effects plugins, more built-in virtual instruments, support for surround sound, support for video synchronization, more additional content like more samples or instrument patches. If you really want to get into the details, then comparison charts are usually available on a manufacturer's website for each door, showing exactly what you do and don't get with each version. By the way, if you're frantically writing down all the software I'm mentioning, don't worry, there's a link in the description to all the gear I'm using to make it a little bit easier for you. Those links are affiliated, so if you decide to grab anything, I get a small percentage on the back end, which helps to fund what I'm doing here on this channel. Oh, and make sure you subscribe. Virtual instruments. Virtual instruments are software instruments that are played via MIDI and usually either hosted by your door or can run standalone. In days gone by, to get good quality sounds, you would have needed to splash out on expensive keyboards or modules. Now, with all the mature computer music products available, any sound from guitars to pianos, drums and percussion to or orchestra instruments to synthesizers can be emulated in software. Many doors, especially the higher tier versions, already come with a good selection of virtual instruments, but the really good sounds tend to come from third-party manufacturers who specialize in creating instruments. To use these plugins inside a door, they need to be in the right plugin format. There have been various formats over the years, but the main current ones are as follows. VST, Virtual Technology, the original plugin format designed by Steinberg for both Mac and PC. Audio Units, AU, the native plugin format for the Apple operating system. AAX, Avid plugin format for Pro Tools. For a plugin to work with your system, it needs to be compatible with the host software, unless you're just running it in standalone mode. So it's important to bear in mind this fact when you're buying both your DAW and any virtual instruments and check that the plugins you want to use are compatible. Many virtual instruments come as collections or bundles and this is often a great way to get thousands of sounds at bargain price. Notable collections are Artoria V Collection, 
a collection of virtual synths, both the new instruments and faithful emulations of many classic synthesizers. Native Instruments Complete, a vast collection of sample-based instruments, synthesizers and effects. The ultimate version contains all the current plugins in the complete range. Rob Pappin Explorer, all of Rob Pappin's plugins as a bundle range from electronic drums to groundbreaking synthesizers. There are also loads of great virtual instruments available in separate instruments too. These include Spectrosonics Omnisphere, a must-have if you're creating cinematic type music and sound effects. Thousands of sample based sounds that can easily be manipulated. Spectrosonics Trillion Total Bass Module, a plug-in dedicated to bass sounds, acoustic, electric and electronic. Easy Drummer, great sounding plug-in with built-in grooves, Easy X expansion packs and add-ons available. Superior Drummer, a world-class drum plug-in with advanced features and add-on SDX expansion packs available. Can also use Easy X expansions. Garreton Abbey Road Studio CFX Concert Grand, an amazing acoustic piano plug-in, sounds very authentic and expressive. Effects and process plugins. Traditionally, for each instrument track that needed some kind of audio processing, a piece of hardware was required. EQ, compression, reverbs, delays, and any other effect would have to be in part of a signal chain, and many were only available to be used once. Hence, you would need a large mixer and lots of outboard effects processing modules to mix a track. These days, plugins are used instead of hardware, which not only means it's much more affordable to achieve a particular effect, but any one plugin can be put over any number of tracks, only limited by the available computer processing power. Isn't technology amazing? But I still love technology, always and forever. All doors will come with some effects plugins that can be used to mold, shape, and liven up each instrument. As mentioned above, the higher tier versions of doors will usually include more and better quality plugins. Third party effects are available and many of these emulate specific pieces of hardware. Waves plugins, world renowned audio processing, lots of individual plugins and some great value plugin bundles. Universal Audio, studio grade powered hardware plugins that use extra DSP to run the processing, freeing up your computer for other tasks. Isotope Ozone, mixing and mastering software at its best, a suite of modules to make your final mix sound amazing. Isotope RX, restoration software for cleaning up problems in recordings, including denoising and depopping. There are hundreds of options when it comes to music production and recording software. Depending on your requirements and experience, you may find yourself needing lots of third party software sounds and processing. But on the other hand, if you just want to get some song ideas down, then all you need is a real basic door. You may even find that the free door software that comes with certain audio interfaces is enough to get you started. And there are usually upgrade paths for these that mean you can get a higher tier version of the software at a discounted price. Virtual instruments are great if you're composing any kind of music, so it may be that you should spend less on your door and budget for some really good sounds from third-party virtual instruments. For example, if you're a guitarist but you need good drum sounds, then a drum plugin will help you make your recordings sound like a real band. Effects and processing plugins are a must if you're looking to get a professional sound, but if you're just starting out, then I would suggest playing with the plugins of your door first. And then when you can see their limitations, then look at additional software. That's it from me, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one.